All right, everybody, 11 a.m. Thursday morning. Good morning, good afternoon to those who may be joining me from a different time zone. My name is Luis Morales, health fitness specialist with Exos at Autodesk, and this is the a.m. stretch break on a Thursday. Now, before we get started, if there's anything you would like specifically uh, stretched out, something that's tight, maybe something that needs a little bit of extra love today, go ahead and drop it in the chat. I can definitely work in whatever um, you know is necessary to fit your needs. Here in the stretch break today, I've got some really good stuff planned out for us this morning. Some of my favorites um, for kind of the first half of the day, um, opening up some, some big joint areas. So drop anything in the chat. Not seeing anything currently, so we can go ahead and get started. Feel free as we go to, to drop something. I'll keep a lookout for that. All right, guys. So one of the great ones that I really like to start off the day with is opening up the flexors of the hip, and that's the quads and the muscles kind of right here in the front. So what we're going to do is the couch stretch. And as you can see behind me, I have an actual couch. Now, if you guys have a chair or an ottoman or something kind of solid that you can prop your foot up against while your knee is on the ground, that would be what we're going for. So again, chair or anything, if you're in a position where you do not have that, that is okay. You can kind of do the regular hip flexor stretch and that's one knee on the ground, kind of one foot in front and then you'll just be squeezing the glute, stretching out the front of the hip here. But if you have something you can prop your foot up against, that is what we're going for here. So as I get into this position, you know, I'm not in a ton of knee bend. We want a good amount of knee bend. You can see my foot's kind of lightly resting on the couch here. And so with one foot out in front, what we're gonna do is try and get up as nice and as straight as we can. Now, if you find yourself in kind of this bent over position, that is all right. I want you to stay in that bent over position and just make sure you can squeeze the glute here. I don't want you to be super back bent, all curved in the spine. We're trying to be up nice and straight from our head to our bent knee as we can. So. First step, squeeze that glute, find that glute. Might help to put the hand on it, find those abs. And once we can get a nice little stretch, we're just gonna breathe into that belly. Good job, you guys, keep breathing. Check in with yourself, are you wobbling in this position? Is it painful? Are you making the pain face? How is the quality of your breathing here? Good work, you guys. One more breath and we're gonna switch it over. Nicely done, okay. Slowly come out of this, let that knee unbend a little bit. We can pull that foot down, move it to the side, switch over, hook that foot onto something, whether it's a couch or a chair or a footstool. Hopefully we're staying comfortable here. All right, same deal. Find that glute first. So we're up nice and straight. We're looking for a medium stretch here, guys. We don't want it to feel like we're about to tear a quad or anything. If you do, go ahead and ease up on yourself a little bit. Show yourself some love. And we're breathing. Now, if this is a position you guys feel like you want to improve on, the key is going to be spending more time doing this. So a couple times a day versus just you know, once in the stretch break, you know, two to three times a day, you're really gonna start to see some results. All right, one more deep breath here, guys. Nicely done. Okay, let's slowly release the tension here. Unhook our feet. All right. Next thing we're gonna do, let's go ahead and come down onto the ground. We're gonna be lying on our sides here. Let me adjust this so you guys can see what I got going on down here. All right, so time for a little bit of rotation. Let's go ahead and open up our spines here this AM. So starting, we wanna have the knees stacked up on top of each other, straight line from knees to hips. And we're gonna stay and we're gonna keep our lower body in this position the whole time. So as we move, we wanna feel this solid as a rock, not moving. All right, arms are gonna be outstretched in front of us. And what we're gonna do here is open up kind of like a big book. So that top hand is gonna open up. We're gonna keep our eye on that hand. 
turn our heads and open up as far as we can, keeping those knees together. We can pause while we're opened up, take a breath, and then close that book, watching that hand all the way back. Good job, you guys. All right, let's do a couple more of these. You can move at your own pace. I suggest kind of going slow. The first few of these are always going to feel tight. So the more you do, if you get up to kind of like 10 or 15 per side here, it's really gonna to start to feel loose. We only have time for a few here today. But if you feel inspired to do this on your own, I definitely recommend 10 to 15 to get some real change into that spine. All right, you guys, wherever you're at, let's make this one the last one. Opening up, turning that head, going as far as the spine will let you. And then finally closing that book, final time on this side. Nicely done, okay. You guys can flip on over. I'm gonna turn myself around so you're still looking at my front side here. We're gonna set up just the same way that we did for the other side. So knees are on top of each other, nice and bent, 90 degree angle, straight line to the hips. We're gonna outstretch those arms in front. And then when we're ready, open up like a big book, turning, watching that hand all the way. Don't forget about that breathing. Don't want to be holding our breaths here. Nice job, you guys. Nice job. <clears throat> Just turning as much as you comfortably can. Don't worry if the shoulder is going farther than your neck can go. That's typically how everyone is set up. We're just striving for a <clears throat> maximal and comfortable range here. All right, you guys, as we close this book, make this one the last one, go ahead and close it all the way. Nice work. Okay, let's slowly make our way up into a nice hands and knees position. And as we come into this position, we can work on the spine just a little bit more. <clears throat> so with the hands planted under the shoulders, knees are planted on their hips, comfortable position here. What we're gonna do is a little bit of flexing and extending the spine. So how we wanna start is making a big hill out of our backs, pointing our tailbones to the ground. Letting our head sink down. Take a breath in this position and we're slowly gonna move into the opposite. So pointing the tailbone up, bringing the head up, creating a big valley out of our spine. Good work, you guys. Just like the last one, trying to keep it comfortable. So whatever range you got, just make sure it's nice and comfortable and you can slowly start to move at your own pace between these two positions, breathing also as it is most comfortable to you. And each time we switch in these positions, try and see if you can go just a little bit further. Again, staying comfortable. If you try and go a little bit further, your body says, gives you a little pain signal maybe. You can go ahead and listen to your body. Stay out of that range and just work with what you got. Good job, you guys, good job. All right, let's make one more hill and one more valley out of our backs here. So point the tailbone down, head hangs, big hill. And then our final valley, pointing that tailbone up, bringing the head up to look straight ahead or even up if you can. Big valley, all right. <clears throat> Good job, everybody. Let's come back to the middle, nice and slow. 
All right, next up, let's go ahead and stand it all the way up. What we're gonna do is close out with some neck circles. Shout out to Brittany, I love Brittany's background right now. If you guys can see Brittany's background, that's awesome. That's where I wish I was right now. I wish we were all there right now doing a nice group session, but it is not safe. So, all right guys, last thing we're gonna do here today, some nice relaxing neck circles. So the feet can be planted whatever width apart that is comfortable for you. We're gonna relax those arms, keeping kind of the tummy a little bit tight. We wanna turn those tummy muscles on just to make sure the rest of our spine isn't going to be moving around as we move our neck. So we're gonna start bringing that chin down as close to our chest as possible. We're gonna do three nice uh, rotations in each direction. So starting with one direction, whatever you choose, trying to draw the biggest circle we can with an imaginary pen attached to the nose. Feel all those kind of tight spots. Maybe there's some popping, some cracking. Good job, you guys. Keep breathing. All right, wherever we're at, let's go ahead and change directions. Final three rotations going the other way now. Good work, everybody. Keep breathing. All right, wherever we're at, let's go ahead and finish off that rotation, end with our chin down on our chest, and then we can slowly bring that head back up. Awesome, okay guys, that is all the time I have left for this stretch break today. Thank you guys for sticking with me through that. I don't know about you guys, I feel nice and warm. So thank you for joining me. Don't forget, we do have exercise with Exos coming up at noon. That's gonna be a really fun workout. Um, there is going to be burpees in the workout. Um, <laughs> I thought I, I thought I'd go ahead and drop that. Encourage everyone to come. There's not going to be a ton of them, but I definitely recommend this workout. And then another stretch break with me at 2:30 p.m. We'll be able to do some regeneration and recover from said workout uh, exercise and exercise. So hope to see you guys there. Hope everyone has a great rest of your day. Take care. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, Lisa. Thank you. See you guys. Take care.